Today we're going to be playing around with tilt shift lenses just to show you guys how versatile they can be and all the effects that we can create with them. Now firstly, how do they work? Well basically, we can tilt the lens barrel left and right. It has another mechanism that allows us to shift the lens up and down. And it's got a little release on the side. If we press that down, we can rotate the lens so that we can actually tilt up and down and shift left and right. And on Canon, they go a step further. There's another little release lever on the side. If we press that, we can actually rotate the lens halfway through. So we can end up now tilting left and right and also shifting left and right. So at first they look really complicated to use and we're just going to try and simplify it down today and show you what we can do with these amazing lenses. Use the shift mechanism on the lens to actually change what the lens can see. In this case I'm going to be shifting down and up. And you can see that I can actually start to see the top or the bottom of the door without moving the camera at all. If I want to shoot up into the door, I will end up with leaning vertical lines, which might have an artistic appeal, but if it's um, for architectural use or anything else, the leaning lines might be frowned upon. So what I do is I'm going to use the shift mechanism of the lens to actually allow me to still have a low angle whilst keeping the line straight. So to use it, recompose, make sure the camera is level, that will keep the line straight and then we just simply shift up and we can still see the top of the door but the lines are now nice and straight. On tilt shift lenses we use the tilt mechanism to change our plane of focus so we can determine what will be in focus and what will be out of focus. So at the moment I'm shooting at f3.5 to get a really shallow depth of field and I'm going to tilt the lens towards the right and you see that the plane of focus shifts a little bit, changes and the depth of field actually becomes more shallow and if I tilt it all the way back to neutral and then all the way to the left you'll see that I actually get more of the door pulling into focus if I slightly recompose and focus, you can see now that I'm almost pulling the whole door into focus on this one plane. So it's just a matter of playing around with the tilt to get the optimum depth of field that you can, so you can shrink it or expand it. So now I'm going to use the tilt mechanism of the lens to create a miniature world effect. It's really easy. All we do is just move the tilt around to get the desired effect and play around with your focus. And if you're lucky, you get a really great effect. <laughs> 